At last. Ladies and gentlemen, viewers around the world, straight out of Naruahia, via Titahi Bay, here's Mario. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, 3.5. Oh, forgot the forgot the signal. Hi, three point five. How's your day been? Well, mine's been productive. Yes, productive. Social. Yes, and well, fun. I've quite enjoyed it. Fun day today. Yeah, and why shouldn't it be? Every day should be a fun day. It's been a beautiful day, cracking winter's day, cloudless sky most of the day, cool, you know, you've got to have your layers on, and there's going to be, I'm predicting, I'm predicting there's going to be a hell of a frost tomorrow. Yes, she's going to be slippery and icy, and yeah, that, that's my prediction, we'll see, we'll see what comes of that. So, yes. Let's, ah, yes, now what's the detail here? Well, I've been at Wintech now for, this is my sixth year, 2013, this is my sixth year, and from the beginning of my, from the beginning we've been at the Rotokauri campus, and this muddy track, between the two buildings, well, it's not, it's muddy some of the time, has uh, been there, and all of a sudden, they've decided that they're going to make it into a pathway by the look of it, so good on them, good on the, good on the powers that be, I'm not too sure how it's going to affect me, because I cut across a little bit in between two transformers, and I d doubt that they will concrete that little bit, but I mean, this is certainly some good good progress. So, um, yes, I've cut my little track through the trees, and now I've got a concrete path. So, hmm, persistence, the persistence of time. <laughs> One of my favourite paintings by Salvador Dali. So, I don't know how we got from there to there, but anyway... So this is good. So I, I posted this picture on my Instagram. I've decided I'm going to do try and get some photos on Instagram. And one of my students uh, posted, because it, it shared on my, um, on my Facebook, finally, and uh, yes, I have to agree. So Pathway is the title today, which is a significant... A significant uh, thing in education as everyone's talking about pathways. The pathway. Following the pathway. So, here it is in all its symbolism. So, let's uh, move on and have a look at uh, some of the uh, video snippets. So, I'll turn the microphone off and... Uh, it's just gone one o'clock and, well, I've finished off my vlog quite late because we went out to tea, although that's not really the reason. Um, yeah, I tried to recover the videos that I deleted from my camera unsuccessfully. So I'm going to have to make the system uh, foolproof so that this fool doesn't screw up again. <laughs> So yeah, one o'clock, so we'll head off. I'm sort of contemplating trying to get into work uh, nice and early so that I can get some free parking and that might save myself a couple of bucks and uh, give myself a bit of a work. It's sort of possible these days with uh, no class commitments and stuff like that. So yeah, see how that goes. Alrighty.
Well, it's quarter past eight. Nice crisp winter's morning, cloudless sky. Um, you can hear the birds singing there in the background. And uh, well, we're off into into Wintec for another day. Well, good. Hopefully, we'll won't delete today's snippets. <laughs> And uh, maybe get back this afternoon, do a little bit more yard work. Well, 5.41, got out at 5 o'clock, so that's 41 minutes. Uh, just move my finger out of the way there. And, yeah, um, right, it's 5.42. Uh, I got out around about 5 o'clock, and I got four barrow loads of stuff uh, down the back. And it's, uh, well, I think... If I have one more go at this, I'll get it uh, cleaned up to a point where we can start doing some more cutting and chopping and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, a little bit every day. Turn the microphone on and we're back. So that was the uh, three snippets there today. Um... Yes, just a pretty stand, stock standard sort of day, but well, we'll have to report tomorrow on the potential frost that I believe is coming. So let's um, just move on now to the Q&A, and well, we've got the last question. Imo and Izzy uh, came through with a question nine, how long have, have you been teaching? And... They, I've changed it into two questions. What notable changes have there been in that time? So I've now got my 10 questions. I've got my Q&A all set up and ready to go. And I think I'll record it separately as a Q&A because it's most likely to be a quite, um, quite lengthy, I think. You know, too lengthy for the vlog. I don't quite know how long it's going to go because there's some quite uh, involved questions in there. Yes. Talking of Salvador Dali, you'll notice that the background here is a Salvador Dali painting as well. Um, I just can't remember the name of it, but I just I remember using it as a Salvador Dali backdrop. So... Aha! All right, so um, that's uh, Q and A. So we'll probably um, leave that for a while until we do it, and then we might maybe then start another. Oh, maybe leave it for a while and then come back with some more questions at another time. So let's uh, go on to the diary, and well. More work on the Fajoas and no lawn mowing. It's been a while since I've mowed the lawns, but the lawns are not growing. They, they, the fine grasses are growing quite well, but the lawns themselves are, yeah, they're, they're not, they're, they're not looking um, that bad. But I would hope that's going to be. I'll tidy up where I am at the moment and then give have a have a good mow through there and just get them looking uh, pretty good. I th I'm hoping they'll be good, but a nice dry day would be good um, for the lawns, I feel, rather than uh, when it's quite damp in the evenings. But anyway, we'll see where we go. 5,461 steps. And uh, yes, a, a, a who over at Where What Who question today. I completed the moderation, so that was the productive thing. Completed that. Um, zeroed my inbox on my emails and well another lunch over at the base i had a donburi i went over with rj and um well he had a uh, a curry and i, I had a um, donburi but uh yes I, I don't quite not looking forward to my weight in the in the morning i did have that one day where my weight was over 80 but since then we've been under it i think it was about 79 Point three this morning so yeah we're getting there and um, hopefully we can get it trending downwards again but we're working hard it's hard work I have to say 
So let's uh, go to today's question. And roughly how many seconds does it take for sunlight to reach the earth? Sunlight to reach the earth. Hmm. So if we know how many million miles away it is, and then we divide that by ooh, 186,000, yes, something like that anyway. 186,000 miles per second, the speed of light, I think, as determined by Albert Einstein, first determined by, no, was the guy with the mechanical, I'm not sure, hmm, might have to look that up, first person to work out the speed of light, but as a surveyor, of course, we use the, use the speed of light uh, every day, um, to measure our distances using electromagnetic distance measuring and GPS. All uh, use the speed of light to determine distance. Alrighty, so that's uh, today's question and here's yesterday's answer. Who was the Greek goddess of the rainbow? And it was Iris. Iris was the Greek goddess of the rainbow. And Moz was able to tell us that. Um, Moz was able to tell us that yesterday. So he goes on the Hall of Fame. And well, that brings us to the end of another vlog. I'd like to thank everybody for watching, commenting, liking and subscribing all of the marvelous stuff you do in support of mario's vlog i appreciate your efforts long may it continue i look forward to seeing you again big hello to imo and izzy and uh, i watched your um your vlog um on the creator one as well i don't i think i might have I forgot to comment. I might go back and do that now. But uh, yeah, Imo and Izzy. And all right. So let's uh, call it a day. That's all, folks. This has been a Mario presentation recorded live in our studio at Narawahia, capital of the Waikato district a district towards the top of the North Island of Aotearoa, New Zealand, the land of the long white cloud, a little country at the bottom of the globe, a place where Kiwis live. Very happily.